2023 is now gone, and 2024 is now upon us. And no offense, but I'm going to assume that you did not reach your goals for the sake of this video. So now stop and listen. This is my white room protocol for 2024. The following procedures are going to be harsh, and a lot of you are not going to be able to do them. But just like in the white room, there's going to be losers and there's going to be winners. And as you guys know, I run a white room program which you can do a test in the description to join. But imagine that you're in the white room right now, getting ready to be evaluated. But in order to be evaluated, you need to complete these steps first. So grab a pen and a pencil, and let's begin. So step one, a lot of you guys are going to shit your pants before even hearing this, but let me just tell you. Step one is going to be to buzz off all your hair. I already know you're going to have resistance even hearing the thought. You've already decided that you're not going to do it, and you're going to skip to step two, three, and four. But hear me out very carefully. Why did every military on the face of the earth from the beginning of history insist that their trainees have their heads shaved? From the Spartans to the Alex Alexander the Greats to the modern US Army, all trainees have their heads shaved, trimmed, or buzzed. And even the monks of any religion insist that their trainees have their heads shaved as well. And also even the movie Fight Club, Tyler Durden insists that his space monkeys have their heads shaved as well. So to some extent, this is all because in all these organizations, you have to earn the right to have hair to look good and express yourself. It's because you're submitting yourself to a time of rewiring and transformation. The only people who I think should not do this are people who have like religious reasons like six and women. Because like, why would a fucking woman go bald? If you want to do the hard reset protocol white room edition, you had to start with buzzing your hair. You need to destroy your vanity and your ego. Now, you can only do this yourself if you have a pair of clippers or you can go to the barber. I don't really care. You're doing this for spiritual, metaphysical, and practical reasons. If you want to be in the white room, you need to shave off all your hair until you have earned the right to look good. Now we'll go on to step two, but you have to understand you need to do step one. Step one is an optional. You guys need to be fully committed to this. You have never been even fully committed to anything in your life. It's just your hair. You have to buzz your hair and you only need to go to step two once you're done with step one. Step two. So what you'll do is you'll place all your devices in airplane mode. You'll clear your desk and the only thing on your desk is a piece of paper and a pen to write with. You're going to sit down and stare at the wall in front of you. This is not meditation. I don't want you to meditate. This is not the time for mindfulness and spirituality. This is the time for you to really suffer and feel the pain of boredom. Feel the pain of negative emotions and the thoughts in your head. Let the demons begin their offensive for you to be in control. So you're enchained to your desk. You will not leave this place until the task is done. You can stand up, you can move a little bit for blood circulation, but you're not going to move away from your desk until this task is done. So, as you're sitting down at your desk with your piece of paper and your pen, the negative thoughts and emotions are going to come at you. You'll, you'll think thoughts of how ridiculous you are, you'll think thoughts of how you deserve to end up being lonely, you'll think thoughts of why not just go and watch porn. You have to understand, you might be sitting here for an hour, you might be sitting for two hours, but you're going to let these negative emotions seep through your brain and saturate your brain. The demons of your brain are extremely manip manipulative. They're going to find the angles of your brain. They're going to find ways to apply leverage in order to make you do something. Anything other than face them head on. They'll tell you to be productive. They'll tell you why you're just sitting down and wasting your time. So just understand, just keep sitting down. Why not go and reply to those emails? Why not reply to those DMs? Why not make money? Why not do this and that? Why not organize your life? Etc, etc, etc. There's so many things you should be doing. But for now, just sit at your desk with nothing airplane mode and just stare at your pen and pencil and your paper and while this is happening they're going to hit you with pictures of you know your past girlfriends regrets things you fumbled businesses that didn't go anywhere arguments that you had with your parents all the negative garbage must come out of you for you to purge i told you to get a piece of pen and paper I haven't told you to start writing it, so listen, you're going to be sitting down, you're going to be letting these negative thoughts come to you. So that's when you use your pen and paper as your tools against this enemy. You see, I told you not to use a laptop, I told you to use a piece of pen and paper. The reason for this is that I want your concentration not to be diffused among all your fingers on the keyboard. I want it to be concentrated and packed 
into the tip of that pen and when you start writing you are framing your future now let me tell you what you're going to write you're going to have two pages one titled hell and the other titled heaven first we will start in hell you're going to give your life to hell all the negative thoughts that you had all the bad futures that you can potentially see i want you to write down your worst nightmares and your worst fears and make it as detailed and graphic and emotionally painful as possible this is not going to be easy i know because i just recently did this so once you're done creating your hell stand up get some blood circulation going and now we're going to be writing our heaven your heaven is when everything goes according to plan write a golden future so for example what you want to do it's just make the opposite of what you just did right now. So, but whatever your vision of heaven and hell is, that's what you write down. Be detailed, be articulate, and be even poetic, be dramatic. Make this real. The more real you can make this, the more emotional resonance it's going to have with you. And the more power this hard white room reset is going to have in your overall life. Once you're done writing your heaven and hell, you're ready to move to step three of the white room protocol. I'm going to give you five rules that you must follow. And whatever you're going to do, is you're going to take another piece of paper and you're going to write these rules word for word as I'm saying. So let's begin. Rule 1. I reject my addictions, for my dreams are more important than any temptation. Rule 2. I will not numb myself for entertainment, for I have no time for mediocrity. Rule 3. I will meditate for 30 minutes every day so that my mind is worthy of wisdom. Rule 4. I will engage in at least 30 minutes of exercise per day that my body is worthy of my mind and rule five i will read these rules and my version of hell and heaven every morning to remind me of what s is at stake these are the five golden rules that are going to set you apart from everybody else so very briefly i'm going to explain what these rules are so rule number one says no addiction so no porn no drugs no alcohol none of that and then rule two say says no entertainment so no tiktok no instagram no youtube now you can use youtube for educational purposes but you have to install extensions the browser extensions where i'm going to recommend in this video are going to be down in the link below so just download them and put them on your chrome and rule three says meditation for 30 minutes it doesn't have to be 30 minutes in one stretch but it can be broken down into parts throughout the day so it adds up to 30 minutes overall if you don't know how to meditate, that's fine. I have a video that I'll put again in the description. So just watch that and learn. And then rule four means to do exercise for at least 30 minutes. So this can be anything walking, running, BJJ, weightlifting, boxing, etc. And then rule five says you must read your rules and read your description of hell and heaven every single day in the morning. And this is the basically the best rule you can do. You can do all this emotional work and all this mental effort to create these documents you see. But these are just your foundational documents. If you don't even read them and don't have them in your mind every day, there's no point in putting all this effort and time. So I want you to treat these documents as an irreplaceable asset. So every morning when you read these painful words of hell and these amazing inspiring words of heaven, it has to be an emotional resonance with you. And that's going to get you to perform at the highest level every day. So you have to read it, especially when you don't want to. But lastly, let's move on to step four. At this point, you are going to have two documents. You're going to have your heaven and your hell and then your rule document. At the bottom of your rule document, you're going to write these exact words that I'm going to give you. You're going to write, the next 12 weeks are going to be a time of great opportunity or the beginning of a hellish existence. Even though I will be tested, I will not be found wanting. I will find, I will follow the five golden rules and this is upon my honor, I swear. And at the bottom of that, you're going to put your signature. You see, this is a binding document. This is a written pact with yourself. If you break this, you're breaking it upon your honor. If you sign this, there is no going back. You have to hold true to your words. So, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys actually follow these steps, 2024 is going to be such a different year for all you guys. And if you want to join a like-minded group going through this whole challenge for the whole year in my right room program you first had to complete the test to qualify and there's many other like benefits in the group as well so just do the test to join and i'll see you guys next time peace on the street